welcome to thy tutorial. It is I, Sir Fluth, and today I shall be showing you the secrets of the Workbench Render Engine. That is enough of that. So basically, Workbench is a clay viewport preview engine that I've been using a lot recently, and I found it really useful, and this video is just some tips on how to make it look a bit better. Alright, so in case you're interested, I've linked the blend file for this character in the description below. A demo scene isn't really necessary for this tutorial, but I thought you guys might want to play around with this character anyways, and you might find it interesting. By the way, sorry if my mic cuts in and out, I do not have the best one, so apologies if that happens. Anyways, let's get into the video. First thing I like to do is enable shadow, just gives everything a shadow. Next thing you can do is enable cavity, give some ambient occlusion around his armor. If you have depth of field in your scene, you can enable that if you want. And then the other thing I like to do that kind of makes everything stand out a little bit more is outline. So if I enable that, it kind of it puts an outline around all the separate meshes, so it gives everything a little bit of definition. So I'd like to enable that. Another thing you can do to make it look even better is change the cavity type from world to both. You can see it kind of gives everything this, I don't know, in fact I don't know how to describe it, but I do like that a lot more. Next thing you can do is if you want a wireframe overlay to show the topology, you can go to viewport overlays, geometry, and enable wireframe. And you can turn this up to one, which in my opinion it gives the best results. And if you hit render now, you can see that nothing happened. You can't see the wireframe effect. So, how to fix this? You go to View and Viewport Render Image. And this works because it's only a viewport overlay, but if you render it with the viewport option, it'll include all of that. Only downside is you can see in this render, you can see the line from this light right here. So, if you're going to do anything, you will want to hide this light and then render it again. You can use this technique for animations as well. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new from it. You can get this character's blend file from the link in the description below. Sorry if this low poly mesh is uh, killing you, by the way. Uh, I had to turn on Simplify so I could get this animation to play as smoothly as it does, and even then, I'm only getting 12 FPS. But uh, yeah, I hope you learned something new and enjoyed the video. Bye!